Hello everyone, welcome to another Sims 4 video. Today we are going to be using AI to make our sim. And I feel like for the last year AI has been talked about everywhere, whether it's business, education, any type of industry. People are even using it at home for different things and I felt so out of the loop. So I finally figured out what ChatGPT is and that is what we are going to be using today. We are going to ask ChatGPT to make our sim. I keep saying ChatGPT, but like ChatGPT just doesn't sound that smooth. Y'all really need to rename this, I think. <laughs> but we're going to be asking ChatGPT to help us make our sim. And I think what's going to be really fun about this is the random element because it's completely out of my control. It's going to be kind of like a wheel spin challenge, only I don't even put the options in. AI is going to have full control of what my sim skin color is going to be, eye color, hair color, body type, fashion sense, all of that. And I'm very interested to see what responses we get. So here we have ChatGPT and you basically just message ChatGPT down here and you ask it a question and it will give you a response. And the only thing that I'm going to enforce in this challenge is that our sim is going to be a female because that's just what I prefer to make. So I'm going to type in pick a skin color, okay? Because I feel like that's probably a good way to get a response. Let me do a question mark. I don't have personal preferences or biases, so I don't have a preference for any particular- Girl, that's not what we asked you. Let's ask again and see if they say something different. Girl, what? Maybe if I change the wording? No, why do they keep doing this? I'm not trying to test you. <laughs> Maybe if I say pick a random skin color, they won't think it's offensive. Okay, all of skin tone. Okay, keep in mind the word random needs to be used because I think if you just say pick a skin color, like, I don't have a preference, like, girl. Okay, so all of skin tone. So that is what we're going to do first in the game. Also, I'm sorry if I look a bit weird on camera today. For some reason, when I plugged in my camera, I just look like a zombie. So I tried to, like, adjust the settings, but I feel like I still look like a zombie or a cartoon character. So just excuse that if I look a little bit, um, lifeless today. But the first skin tone, or the first thing we're going to be choosing is a skin tone, which is olive. And I feel like this is a good olive skin tone. Is that like too warm? I don't know. I feel like that's an olive skin tone, right? We're going to go with that. Okay, so next we're going to ask for an eye color. So let's see what they say. Pick a random eye color. Let's go with hazel. Ooh, I like hazel. Hazel's one of my favorite eye colors ever. I just think it's so pretty. Okay, so we're going to go with that, but I'm going to give them contacts first. We'll adjust all of the other features soon. But of course, my favorite contacts right now have amazing hazel swatches. So we could go with like a dark hazel, a light hazel. I think we're going to go with like a medium hazel though. I feel like this looks really nice. And I'm just going to take everything else off and just kind of rework the face a bit. Just a little bit, honestly. In fact, probably we're going to randomize these features anyway with AI. So I guess we'll leave that. Hmm, I guess we should do hair color next. So pick a random hair color. This will be interesting, I think. Let's go with blonde. Okay, blonde it is. So I guess you have to go with a blonde that also suits the olive skin tone, which I feel like isn't that hard. Let me just pick the brows, honestly, first, because I feel like if we go with the brows, it'll be easier to do the hair. We can maybe try these brows, although it's sometimes really hard to shape them. Like, she just looks angry and I don't want that. <laughs> this is not going to be her hairstyle or her brows, probably. I just want to use these as placeholders right now before we do everything else. Okay, so let's go with, I guess, nose shape, I guess. I don't know how to, like, phrase that, though. Pick a nose size. Pick a random nose size. How about a medium sized nose? Okay, well, that's pretty easy, I guess. <laughs> so she already kind of has a medium sized nose, so I'll probably just give her a preset that like has a similar vibe. Maybe like this one. This is a medium sized nose. Then we can give it a little bit of an arch. I love a nose with like a bit of an arch in the bridge. Okay, I think that looks really good. So I guess we'll see about the lip size next. Pick a random lip size. Let's go with average lip size. Okay, that kind of, that works, I feel. Again, she already kind of has an average lip size, so I feel like we'll probably keep a similar-ish vibe. I want to try and do a lip preset that I don't usually do. Okay, so I think that's a lip shape that we're going to go with. Also, she looks so crazy with the eyelashes. I'm going to give her eyelashes anyway, because that's not going to be randomized. Oh my god, she looks so much better now. <laughs> okay, now we're going to go with body shape, so we're going to say pick a random body shape. Let's go with athletic body shape. I love how it's so like fitting to the game randomly. It's like AI is watching me and knows that I'm playing The Sims right now. Okay, so it did say athletic, so we'll give her loads of muscles. Make her arms a bit bigger, make her legs a bit bigger. And I feel like that looks really athletic. Her shoulders are quite broad as well. Next, we're going to ask AI to choose a hair length. So whether it be short, medium, I mean, I guess they'll decide. So let's just choose. Heck, a random, I can't spell. Heck, a random hair length. 
Let's go with shoulder length hair. Oh, okay. So that's kind of mid length, I guess, or whatever reaches the shoulders. So any shoulder length hair. Okay. So all of these are kind of shoulder length, I guess. I do love this hairstyle, especially in this color. I think it looks so cute. And then this one as well. But is that shoulder length? I feel like, yeah, that's shoulder length. This one's shoulder length as well. If he wants to go for like a vintage vibe. And this hair is so cute as well. I feel like I never go with this kind of vibe. So I'm kind of leaning towards this. I don't know. We'll go with this just now and see where we go. We might change it to another shoulder length length hair later okay next we're gonna ask more of a funny one we're just gonna ask them freckles or no freckles freckles or no freckles let's say freckles okay so we're definitely getting freckles i love freckles on my sims especially the skin details all the cc is great okay so let's go we have to do the skin details now i guess there we go we have her freckles i think she looks great i love the darker freckles it just looks so good and she also has her skin overlay and stuff like that on i think she looks so much better already now we're going to ask for a fashion sense i don't know how to word this though i'm trying to think choose a random style I don't know if that will work. How about casual yet trendy style? What does that mean? I feel like, okay, I'm going to ask again because in fact, should I? Is that cheating? Casual yet trendy? I feel like this is just bad on me because I don't even know what's trending right now. Like I would do trendy for like 2021 because I'm so behind. Should I cheat? I'm going to say choose a random fashion sense just so it maybe gives me a more niche one. And if it's kind of the same answer, then we'll go with the first one, but I just am confused. Let's go with minimalist fashion sense. Okay, that's kind of more what I was looking for, like a specific kind of category. Although I feel like I've cheated now, but I think I'm just going to go with men. I mean, minimal can also be casual, but trendy. I feel like, wait, that kind of is trending, right? But let me ask ChatGBT if minimal fashion is trending right now. Oh, it has a timeless appeal. Who knew? Okay, we're going to do that then. I will say this is very refreshing because normally when I do these challenges, they have a very cookie fashion sense, which I love, but also it's nice to kind of strip back to the basics in a way, but also I don't know what the basics are. Ooh, that looks so cute, the off the shoulder top. When I think minimal, I think of like clean lines, simple colors, not many patterns, very like simple. And of course you do think of like black and white but i feel like neutrals work as well okay so this is the fit that i've decided to go for for the, like the basics of it i decided to go for this really cute serenity top i think it's by serenity oh it's the serenity sentate collection and look at how cute this is it look at the lines and everything i think the black just looks great against her skin tone and i chose some low rise kind of baggy jeans which everyone is wearing right now and i chose some really cute kind of doc martin inspired shoes by just sims and i also feel like we might go with a nice dainty necklace to go with this we could go with something like that or even something more dainty like this or we could go with this heart necklace oh i like the idea of the heart necklace more and the lighter gold swatch because i feel like with the neckline i think it looks better and then i think i want to give her nails so maybe you can ask chat GBT what nail color to go with heck a nail color <laughs> Let's go with a classic red nail. That is definitely matching like the minimal vibe when you think of like classic energy. So let's go ahead and give our girl some red nails. So I do love the Aretha nails, but I feel like that's not, that is so cute, isn't it? But I feel like it's not really what it told us. So when I think of a classic red nail, I feel like we have to go with this, right? That looks so cute. Look how cute this is, this is spa day. Okay, so now we are going to go with makeup. That's the last thing that we really need to do. In fact, we could do earrings as well with the hair she has. I'm going to ask earrings or no earrings. Let's say earrings. Okay, they're all for us glamming up our sims. I love it. So if we are going to do, I mean, we have to do earrings now, I guess I got to trap myself in that, but we have to do something dainty that matches the necklace in a way. Some of the earrings I like are clipping with the hair, but I do like the look of this, I think. That is so cute. The star. This is by Oidis. So cute. It does kind of clip over here, I think, but it's not really that noticeable since her hair is blonde. Now we're going to ask makeup related questions, and that's going to be the final step of making this sim. So first of all, we're going to ask eyeshadow or no eyeshadow. Let's go with eyeshadow. Pick a random eyeshadow color. Let's go with a neutral brown eyeshadow. Okay, I thought they were going to say something really ridiculous, like a bright blue or something. Okay, a neutral brown eyeshadow. So let's do that. So since she is a minimalist, I guess, in her fashion, we're going to go with a very neutral brown shadow. Honestly, this base game shadow with the wing, I think looks really good if you turn the opacity down. I feel like that looks really cute. It's very neutral. You could argue that it's too neutral, but I feel like that does suit her eye color and eye shape and stuff like that. Next, we're going to ask eyeliner. Oh, did I spell that right? I did. Eyeliner or no eyeliner. Let's add eyeliner. Okay. 
Wait, why was he gonna ask color of eyeliner? Okay, let's just add an eyeliner. Let's not get a white eyeliner, please. That would have been bad if I got ChatGBT to sabotage my Sims makeup like that. So I think we're just gonna go with the liner CC34. It's very simple, subtle, it isn't too dramatic. Okay, now we're going to ask blush or no blush. Sure, let's add a touch of blush. Okay, pick a shade of blush. This is really scary. <laughs> Let's go with a soft pink blush. I thought they were going to say like bright orange or something. Soft pink. Okay, that's nice. Okay, so I have been loving this blush recently, although this is definitely not soft by any means. But if we turn the opacity down, I feel like it could maybe work. Maybe we'll go with a different one. Okay, that definitely looks good. It's definitely soft. It's not too overwhelming, but you can definitely see the pink tinge in her cheeks. So I think that looks pretty good. I think it's quite a high blush, but I do like it. Now the final question of the video, which is related to her lipstick or lip gloss. Lipstick or no lipstick? Let's add some lipstick. Pick a shade. This is gonna be so scary, guys. Pick a shade, not shadow. Pick a shade of lipstick. Hmm. A rosy nude lipstick. Okay, wait, that will work. I thought they were gonna say something crazy again. Okay, so we're looking for a rosy nude lipstick. I also need to find one that suits her lip shape well. I feel like this color works. Like it's like a nude, but it's still rosy. So, but I don't really like this on her. Like, is that a rosy nude? I mean, it is neutral-ish. I do like it, I think. I'm not sure though. Although her lip shape, I would need to adjust it a tiny bit for this lipstick to look more natural. Maybe just like that. I feel like that looks good. I'm kind of, the more I look at it, the more I like it. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with this. I think she looks great, especially from a distance. And oh my God, that's her done. ChatGBT made the sim for us. Okay, let's Let's randomize her. Oh wait, ChatGBT needs to pick her name. Choose a random name. <laughs> How about Elena? Oh, that's such a pretty name. Choose a random surname. Anderson. Okay, so her name's Elena Anderson. This is so fun, guys, because it's completely out of my control. So here is her name, Elena Anderson, and I think she looks absolutely gorgeous, guys. She's so pretty. Definitely one of the prettiest sims I've ever made. And I thought this challenge would be a lot harder to do, but it actually worked out really well. But let me know what you guys think of Elena and if you liked what I did with her or what ChatGBT did with her. ChatGBT is definitely a good way to make additional sims in your save file if you want to make meaningful sims. Without randomizing them, of course because usually when you randomize sims you don't care about them at all you're just like oh i just want them in the save here you go but i had a lot of fun doing this challenge so make sure to let me know if you want me to do it again because it was so fun and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure to leave a like and as always i hope you're having a wonderful day or night wherever you are and i will see you soon with another sims 4 video bye